Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'd like to give you guys an update on my Larch bonsai tree here. So this is a hybrid Larch which is basically a, a, it's crossed between a European Larch and the Japanese Larch so it's a bit more vigorous than normal Larch and you can probably see that from this top growth here. It's got some really good strong growth. It's growing very nicely. So in the last video I, I wired up some of these lower branches just to make sure that they're nice and horizontal and you can see that they've kept their horizontal position quite nicely so I need to check with them how they're doing a couple like this one have been bent I'm not sure what happened it probably got um, I've had some strong winds and that's probably blown things off my balcony so just make sure they're straight and I also need to make sure that the the wires aren't cutting into it too much I think I'll probably have to loosen a couple of these because the main stem is definitely starting to thicken up but in this video I'm wanting to really sort out the top growth up here so as you can see the top growth is really a lot more vigorous than the lower growth and that's going to cause an issue because it's going to be a top heavy tree and what I'm wanting to make it look like is more like a natural tree where you've got most of the growth the, th the longest branches anyway kind of in the, in the upper upper section but not the very top the, the very top of a tree will normally have smaller branches biggest ones just below that and then they reduce again in size as they get younger uh, older sorry the long, lower one so I'm going to reduce these a bit in size because I don't need these quite as big. I mean, they are quite good for drawing up more energy up the trunk to produce the trunk that's thicker, but I'm wanting it to be quite tapered and I don't want this to get too thick at the top, otherwise it'll look a bit odd. So I'm just using my second tiers. These lower ones, I'm just gonna nip them back to a slightly shorter, shorter length, as you can see here. And these ones around the side as well. There's a little side shoot already coming off that, so I might as well nip that to the side shoot. That should continue onwards. There we are. So for the this one, I'm going to retrain this as a leader. So I'm just going to have that facing directly upwards. So I'll get myself a bit of bonsai wire. And I'll start off by wrapping it around the main trunk. And that will just provide an anchor point to give this wire some stability. And then I'm just going to wrap it round quite tightly around this top one and just kind of bend it upwards. Get a nice straight appearance. I'll probably cut the top of this off at some point because it doesn't need to be this tall. As you can see I've kind of wrapped up the, a lot of the needles but that's not a massive issue. So I'm just going to bend that carefully so it doesn't snap. So I have to keep an eye on that, it might try and come a bit further down. These other ones, I'm going to try and bend them further down so I'll get some time to some wire for them. So I think that's probably horizontal enough. This one's pretty much horizontal. Um, I might need to wire it later on, but I'll leave it for now. I'm finding it very tricky actually with this, with this plant to wire and not cover up all the needles. With other plants it's a lot easier because they've got individual large leaves, but with lots of little needles like this, very hard to wire it without covering up the, the needles. So on the lower branches, I'm going to make sure that they're all loosened slightly so the wires don't cut any more into the trunks. So here on the lower ones, I'm just going to unwrap them slightly, but I'm not going to unwrap them fully because I feel like if I do that, I'll end up trapping a lot of these needles because it's going to be quite difficult to, to unwrap it and not trap the needles. And it's mainly at the main trunk. These side branches haven't actually thickened up very much because they haven't put on a lot of growth, but the top of this plant has put on a lot of growth, and so that's that's where all the um, energy is going into the main trunk, and that's why the main trunk has thickened up a lot. So I need to make sure these are loosened off. This one's loose enough. And I say the, the actual side branches here doesn't seem to be cutting in too much, so. I'm not going to worry about that yet, but I will need to keep an eye on it and I'll probably need to take it off at some point. So that's more loosened up. And I think it's, uh, it's looking quite good, the bonsai as a whole. So that's the uh, overall shape at the moment. You can see there's a bit extra on the top there, but that's not going to be part of the, the uh, final design. I'll cut most of that off because I don't want it to be much taller than this. But I just want to reduce the vigour in the top, try and get some of these lower branches down here to grow a bit more. Bottom ones I'm leaving on prune because although I don't want them this long, I still want them quite short because these are very low branches and I'll probably completely remove them up to about this height eventually. I want these to grow so there's a good bit of taper at the bottom of the trunk so the bottom of the tree is nice and thick and it slowly tapers up. 
because that would give it a slightly more natural appearance. But you can see there, still a bit of a curve in the trunk. I may try and straighten that later on if it doesn't straighten itself. But we'll see how it does. That's the back of the tree. A little bit of a lean, so I might need to do a bit of tweaking here and there. But otherwise, I think it's quite healthy. It's put on a lot of growth this year, despite me transferring it into a, a bonsai pot. It was in quite a large pot and I took a lot of its roots off, I pruned off a lot of its roots to, to get it in here, especially as it had quite a bad root structure. I had to try and prune back that a bit. I may do a bit more work in the future. I couldn't take off all these horrible gnarly twisted roots because they were just too many of them for me to cut off without killing the plant. So I might take some more of these off in the future. Um, some of them I might leave if it makes a nice feature, but uh, I'll leave it for now. I also wired in the bottom to hold it up because it was very loose, but that seems to not be cutting in too much, it's not on the main trunk anyway. You can see the wire there and it's, it's actually um, quite loose, it's not solid on the trunk so that's alright. And there's a few roots coming out the bottom, so I will actually nip them off just to stop them from growing too much longer and it'll also help the plant refocus its energy into the roots in the inside of the pot. Um, I'm not going to have a look at the, the roots at this, this time because as I say this has been recently repotted, the roots are probably not fully into the pot and if I take it out it'll fall apart. Plus I've wired it in so it'll be quite difficult to take out. But otherwise I'm quite happy with the, how it's doing, it's looking very healthy as I say. And I'll give you guys an update later in the year when it's put on a bit more growth and I'll probably need to do a bit more pruning on these side branches. You can see what the side branches originally did is put out a floss of growth and they're now starting to put on a second floss of growth. You can see that especially here. You've got the dark colour needles, they're the ones that came out first thing in spring. These lighter ones are quite recent growths that have just started. So some of these are mainly to train forward as a, as a leader for the side branches. Other ones are going to let branch to the side as well, so they will make the side branches have their own branches, make it look a bit more natural. Otherwise I'm very happy with the, the larch, how it's progressing. As I say, I'll give you guys an update probably towards the end of summer.